I'm Jason Alexander from rubbishwalks.co.uk and I'm walking uh, the coast of Suffolk as well as the towns collecting one million cigarette butts. So the idea behind the one million butts campaign is to try and raise awareness across the, the general public. So most people don't actually think of cigarette butts as, um, as litter so they just tend to flick them on the ground and, and many more don't realise that they actually contain plastic as well as lots of other toxins as well. This cigarette butt here for example, we've got a, a, a paper coating on the outside and if I rip that off we can see we've got lots of fibres in there and these fibres are made up of a, a type of plastic called cellulose acetate and as far as I'm aware that's very similar to the, the kind of plastic that's used in sunglasses um, but this filter also contains I think it's over 7,000 different chemicals. In Ipswich in the centre of Ipswich and around that kind of area um, I would fill up a a bucket or two and I and I know from experience that a builder's bucket if you fill it right up flush to the top that's roughly 7,000 cigarette butts. There are four and a half trillion more than four and a half trillion cigarette butts that find their way into the environment every single year. What I'm trying to do is to just to get people thinking about it a little bit more, raise awareness about it and hopefully get a few more of these in the bin rather than on the ground.